Hi and welcome to Sony Ericsson Support. In this video, we'll have a look at how to use Bluetooth in your phone. With Android 2.1, you can transfer various types of files and information with your Bluetooth connection. Some of these include pictures, videos, contacts, music, and web browser links. You can also connect to other types of Bluetooth devices, such as wireless headsets. The first thing you need to do is enable Bluetooth. Do this by opening the Applications panes and select Settings. Tap Wireless and Networks, and then tap the checkbox to turn on Bluetooth. Now tap Bluetooth Settings. Set the device name by tapping here, and then tap OK to save. Mark the checkbox to make sure your phone is discoverable. You will need this checked when receiving files. For example, to send a picture, open the album and choose an image. Tap the share button and select Bluetooth. Tap scan for devices to bring up a list of Bluetooth enabled devices that you can share with. Choose the device you wish to send to. To receive a file, after you see an alert, pull down the notification bar. Tap to confirm the incoming file transfer. Then in the pop-up dialog, tap Accept. Pull the notification bar down to view the transfer status. Tap on the item to view it. You can also send contacts via Bluetooth. Open the phone book and select a contact. Scroll down and tap Send contact. When receiving a contact, you select which account to import it into. Complete the process by tapping OK. You can share music as well. When inside the music player, press the menu key and tap Send several. Choose which tracks to share and then tap Send. To send a web link, in the browser, press and hold on the address bar and tap share page. To share a video, open the video application, press and hold on a video, and tap send. If you have a Bluetooth device that you use often, such as a wireless headset or a computer that you transfer files with, you'll want to pair the device for easier access. Go back into Bluetooth settings and tap scan for devices, and then select the device you wish to pair with. A matching code will be required on both devices for the pairing to be successful. Once paired, you can begin to use the device. Thank you for taking the time to view this film. You'll find more information about your phone by visiting the Xperia X10 Mini Support Zone, where you can improve your user experience.